Hello everyone! Space is both exciting and frightening because we still don't know many things about it. Humankind has long dreamed of conquering the universe, but it became possible only 60 years ago when the Soviet pilot Yuri Gagarin made a space flight on the Vostok 1 spacecraft and became the world's first astronaut. The USSR and the United States started a space race in the 1950s. They both began developing secret space programs to train future astronauts at the limit of human endurance. As part of these programs, they tried to simulate conditions as close as possible to those of space. Every day, future astronauts floated in weightlessness and practiced skydiving, went through ejection training, spent hours in vacuum chambers and more. But the hmm. hardest test was the centrifuge. The load that pilots experienced reached 12 G. This was meant to improve the endurance of the body. Out of 3,500 Soviet pilots who passed the tests, only 20 got into the secret unit, and after further tests, only three of them remained. Gherman Titov, Grigory Nelyabov, and Yuri Gagarin. But why was Gagarin the chosen one? According to some members of the project, Gherman Titov was more prepared for spaceflight. However, he became Gagarin's backup for the flight for a number of reasons. Firstly, hmm. the Soviet government didn't want their first astronaut to have a non-Russian name like German. Secondly, before the flight, Titov had a nervous breakdown, which led to a car accident. Yuri Gagarin was the most stress-resistant of all, which is why he was chosen. He had a charming personality, was easy to talk to, and was sincere with others. Chief designer hmm. Sergei Koryov understood that the first ever astronaut needed more than a flawless physique. He also needed to be able to become a public figure, talk in front of a camera, and have charisma. And he was right. Gagarin's famous smile became one of the most recognizable symbols of the 20th century. And here are some more facts about Gagarin that you probably didn't know. During the pre-flight preparation, there was an accident. The chamber tightness sensor failed, but they did not dare to postpone the flight because the reputation of the country was at stake. The US could beat the USSR at any moment. So, what did they do? Everything was finished at the last minute. The chief designer and his team fixed the problem so quickly that today's Formula One mechanics would envy them. Eventually, the sensor worked. And what was Yuri Gagarin doing at that time? He gave a tiny concert and sang a Russian folk song. Well, he had to do something to pass the time, right? Everything was ready for the start. All systems were checked. It was seconds before the start. Finally, the engine started and Gagarin said, let's go. During the final stage of the flight, when the space capsule entered the atmosphere, Yuri Gagarin made contact and said, I'm burning. Goodbye, comrades. All present were dumbfounded and could not believe that the spacecraft was on fire and in a few seconds, Yuri would die. At that moment, no one knew how the heat-resistant coating of the spacecraft would react in the dense layers of the atmosphere. But after a while, Gagarin responded and confirmed that everything was fine. Upon landing, it turned out that Yuri saw a raging flame in the window and, like any other pilot would, suggested that his spacecraft was burning and he would die. But in fact, all astronauts see this, and thanks to Gagarin's first experience, they don't have to worry seeing this. Nevertheless, in those early days, Yuri knew that he might not return, so he wrote a farewell letter to his wife. In 1961, mm -hmm. he didn't need it. But the letter was given to his wife Valentina on March 27, 1968, after a plane crash that ended her husband's life. That was the end of Yuri Gagarin, the first astronaut on Earth. Would you go to the space if you had the chance? Tell us in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed the video. That's all for today. See you next week. This was a true story.